Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Deep Code Tutorial. Here is time we are going to solve copy list with random pointer coding problem. So I received a YouTube message from a friend Surab. Hi Good Hacker, can you please make a video for copy list with random pointer? So copy list with random pointer, this question asked by this friend Surab. So we are going to solve it. So a linked list is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer which could point to any node in the list or not. Return a deep copy of the list. So the description is very short. So it's better to look at the definition of this random list node here. So like a regular linked list node, the, each node has a label. So that's just a value of each list node. And here, there are two random list node pointer, next and random. So next is point to the next node, random is point to any node in the list or just a node. So it's better, it's better to visualize a linked list with a random pointer for first. So if we visualize, like we want to draw a picture of an example linked list of a, uh, with a random pointer, it would be look like this. So like the first node. Let's suppose is a label value is two. So the next pointer point to the next node. So that's a four. And the next one, suppose uh, suppose that's a last list node. So we only have a three list node. So that's a last node, that's a fine uh, label value. So it will point to the node at the next. So we see here, the next pointer also points to the next node. And uh, compared to the regular list node, it has an additional random pointer. So random pointer, it could point to the any node in the list, like the first one, we make the random pointer point to the last node. And the second one, the random pointer point to the first node. And the, the last one, the random pointer just point to the null value. So here, this is an example picture of a list, linked list with a random pointer. So random pointer point to the random node in the list or just a node. So our goal is to make a deep copy of the this original link list. Return a deep copy. So just make a new list and we are going to return it. So new list. So of course in order to create a new list we are going to iterate uh, each original link list node in the origin list. So like when we, whenever we visit the one, we should create a copy version. To copy its value, also copy the relationship defined by the random pointer and the next pointer. So like this two, the value two here. So when we visit the first one, when we first the node, we are going to create a new one. So create a new one, just call the constructor and uh, assign the original value. So that's two. And also we should create the random, the random node, the random pointer is point to. So for the first one here, we saw it. So it's um, going to this last node. So here we create it. So new node dot five. So here we create it, and we should um, um, make the random pointer to this new copy version random node. Okay, here looks so good in this way. So here, suppose we are going to move to the next one. So move to the second list node in the origin list, and we are going to create a new one, new copy version. Uh, so new node, that's a four. So create it, 
create a copy version. So it's still fine here. But whenever we try to make a copy version of this random node, the second one is point to, we should see there's an issue. And here, when you see here, we already created a copy version of the first node. The second node is a random pointer, is pointing back to the first node. But we already create a copy version. So if we still do this way and create a new random node, with it, it's a random pointer, it's point to. That's a new node dot two. So we are going to create another object. So that's not the same object, the, the one we just created. We need to point this back, this uh, second one, to the first one. That's the first cop, uh, copy version object of the first needs to know we created. We need to make that. So we saw here, if we just uh, create a constructor to call this way, uh, there's an issue that we can't point back to the same object. So in order to solve this issue, we are going to introduce a map variable. So map variable, so that's a, a key value pair would just be old and new node. So old node is the original list node. New node is a copy version node in the new link list. So whenever we create a new copy version node for the original list node, we are going to store this relationship. So like a, when we create the first one, we going to put the old load and the new node into the map. And also, we need to store this random uh, list node relationship so that old node if it, uh, there's a random, so we are going to also put a new node, the random, into the map. So like the next time when we visited the like second node, the first thing we should do is we should check whether this map already contains this old node. So if the map already contains the node, that means we already create a copy version. So new node just need to get that one in the map. So get new node. And the same things happen here. If map contains a random node, so like the old node are random, this one is already created, like this one we, we saw here, like when we with the second list node, and we see that it's uh, the, the node, the random pointer is point to, is already stored in the map. So what we should do is that send the new node the random would just be the one that we previously, the same object we store in the map. So map the get the, uh, the old node Random. Here, there's a typo here. There's an old node. So here, we saw that. So that by introduce a map to store the relationship of the old original node and the copy version node, so we can solve this issue uh, that the pointer cannot point to the same object. So to so after this. Uh, 
uh, introduce is a map variable. We can say successfully to make sure that we can, when we create a new copy version of a new list, we are not only store the original label value for each node, but also we keep saving the uh, relationship defined by the random pointer and next pointer so that a new list can really represent the relationship that the older uh, link list is defined. Okay, so here let's go back to the coding to solve this coding problem. So here I'm demonstrating in Java. So first, the we can make some edge case check first. So if the head is just a null, so we can directly return null. That's a, a null a link list. And uh, as we just mentioned, let's uh, introduce a map variable. So both key and the value are random list node data type. Let's call it as a map. And we are going to introduce a variable, a help, helper variable. Let's call it a dummy. So dummy node. It's a initialize with a value just a zero here. So the dummy node, dummy node is a helper variable. So dummy is a uses the next pointer to point to the head of the copy version link list so that at the end of this code we can just call dummy.next to get the head of the head of the copy version link list because that's the one we need to return so it's a very helpful variable and here we will have a two uh, another variable one is a current Current is a position that our new copy version link list node we are going to point to. So at the beginning is just a dummy. And the next one is a new node. So that's copy version node. So for each one we are going to assign a new value. At the beginning is just not. And then we can start iterating the origin uh, link list. So while the head is not null, so that's a condition. We are going to first let's check. As we just mentioned, we first check if the maps already contains a copy version of this current node, this uh, origin node. If contains so the new node we can just use that object so get head otherwise there's no copy version we need to create a new one so we need to call the constructor new random list node and use the head dot label and uh, also, we need to store this relationship because we create a copy version. So let's put the head, that's the old original node, and the new node to the map. And also, same thing happens in the random node. So if this head random is not null, so we need to do this one to make Check. So if map dot contains key head dot random, so we already have a copy version of a random node for this current node. So the new node a random should be the same object. So get head dot random. Otherwise, we are going to create a new one. So new node.random would be a new random 
please don't know that's uh, just a original um, random node dot label and also after that when we create our copy version we need to store this relationship so head dot render would uh, match with uh, this new node dot render and then we can point to the previous so the current is uh, used to indicate the position of the new copy version is the node so the current that's a previous one so previous node should point make this next pointer point to the this new node this new node and then move this previous uh, this current position to the new node and the same thing uh, goes to the origin needs so we need to match the uh, iteration position of the origin link list and the uh, new link list copy version link list so the original one also needs to move so head would be the next one and uh, after iteration we can return as we mentioned just use the dummy next we can get the head of the copy version link list okay before submitting the code we can make some quick check to see if there are typo or anything so if um, at the beginning edge case check if head is now just return now and the map we introduce this map to store the relationship between the old original node and the, the copy version node and dummy as a helper variable to use to help uh, point to the head of the copy version link list and current um, is a precision that for the copy version link list and uh, at the beginning just dummy new node is a new node we are going to use to create a copy version and uh, we iterate the origin link list so while it's not now we make this condition to iterate and if map already get this node's a copy version we use a copy version to the new node so otherwise new node we need to create a new one use the same value of the current node and store this relationship and uh, if the head the current uh, the origin node is the random is not now we are going to create a check the copy version so if the copy version of a random node is already stored in the map so new node not random just go get that object otherwise create a new a new one create a new one and store that relationship so original nodes a random node and the new node not random node and then make the previous uh, copy version node dot next to this new node and make the position to the new node and also move the origin node to the next and when this iteration goes to now it's finished and at the last we can just return the head dummy dot next to get the head of a copy version link list okay let's click submit okay accept it so we rebuilt for uh, very straightforward we successfully solve this copy list with random pointer coding problem so uh, thank you for watching and thank you for subscription to good Taker youtube channel so hope you after watching this video you learn and uh, get some ideas like here like this friend Surab he give me this message so under the video you can leave comments if you also have some coding problem want me to take a look at you can leave comments under the video or on the website so here thank you for watching so this is good taker okay thank you for subscription see you next time